I love it. That's all this video is going to be about is me telling you how much I love the fog. Hello and welcome to another bikepacking video. I'm out here at O'Keefe's Hut. I'm on a solo mission this weekend and I've come out here and I haven't told anyone and I feel a little bit guilty. I have wanted to ride in like wet moody conditions for a long time now and I saw the forecast for this weekend was supposed to be rainy and then coming to sunshine and I just really wanted to do one of these slow film yourself type videos so that's what I'm out here doing so I'm gonna go check out Round Mountain Hut but it's very steep down and I'm just gonna hike a bike back up so I think it's only about a kilometer down this hill so I'm gonna leave the bike up the top and walk down makes more sense doesn't it looks like the hut's burnt down because it's just ruins Probably should have researched this a little more. Apart from coming out here to film videos in the rain, it's really cool adding some more huts to my bean to list. Up next is Dershko's hut, and then I'll be continuing on to O'Keefe's hut. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Hello. How are these views? <laughs> I've been dreaming about getting moody weather like this for a video for so long and every time I try and attempt it it's either pissing down with rain which makes it near impossible to film or the sun comes out and it just doesn't happen so I am so chuffed to be riding up in the fog at the moment. bought my tripod out here but sometimes you just find these perfect little rocks to sit cameras on there's another one over there so let's get a couple of shots I love this rain I love this rain, but the only problem is the big lens gets water on it super easy. So that's a pain in the ass. so nice being up here in the fog. I'm probably going to say this a thousand times in this video. Beautiful. Oh, there's the hut. Yes. Out in the distance.
All right, I've just been here at Dershko's hut. I've just had some lunch here. We've got the caretakers and the, there's a ski club here as well. They're doing maintenance on it at the moment, so good job, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna continue on to the next hut. <laughs> How is this weather? It's ridiculous. I love it. See you later. I was going to get a photo of the hut from up here, but you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> so I'm up at the little camp area um, where the people are camping that are staying at Dershow's hut. Dershko? Anyway, they tell me that this is a really nice view of Mount Jugungle and of the afternoon you get nice colours on, on the mountain. But today it's a little bit foggy. So, I've parked my bike there, I've taken a photo and I'm going to come back this way tomorrow and take another photo to compare. And hopefully the fog's gone, as much as I love the fog. Anyway, off to O'Keefe's hut I go. Cool foggy tree. Cross sides, I think. Grey mare. Yeah. I see lots of videos online from like Iceland and Scotland and places like that. Even Canada, where it's always wet and moody and cold. And I absolutely love it. I've always wanted to do something like that. And now I'm pretty much here in Australia. It's the best. Having a great time. Hill climbs with one hand, no good, goodbye. I've just made it to the Tumut River and it's only small which is good but look how foggy pretty hard to see those trees through the camera but it's actually I don't know it's so pretty I love it that's all this video is going to be about is me telling you how much I love the fog say hello to the mongoose He's loving it too. Up in the clouds. We're gonna lose a tripod again. Fuck no. Ooh. Where do I try and go through? Yeah, another crossing. Do I try and ride it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yes, yes. And we're through. <laughs> Looks like 
looks like I'm about a kilometre from O'Keefe's hut. That's pretty. It's a bit of a climb up to O'Keefe. Well, I've been coming down this hill and I just looked at my GPS and it says I've passed O'Keefe's hut, so I did not see it. Which is a little annoying because now I have to go back up this hill. Where is it? It's a mystery. I think there's someone else staying there tonight. Apparently, he's probably watched me ride past laughing. <laughs> so why is it every time I come on these solo trips I get lost? <laughs> I'm hoping it was just tucked away in a little corner and I rode straight past it. But... Or maybe I just plotted it wrong and I haven't made it there yet, I've got to keep riding, but we're going to backtrack a little bit. Alright, I'm back up the hill to the exact point where I've plotted O'Keefe's hut. And it's a pretty thick bush here and I've seen photos of it's more out in the open, so I'm thinking, because I haven't passed it, it must be on the other side of that creek and I've just plotted it in a slightly wrong position. So I'm going to go back down the hill, cross the creek, up the other side and hopefully there's an opening with a hut. Because there's no sign of it here and I don't want to backtrack too far because I didn't see it. So surely I'd see it or a sign or something. Anyway, back down the hill we go. Oh, I see it. There's a hut up ahead. Thank f <laughs> There it is. Knock, knock. Hello. You're not who I was expecting. Oh, <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good. I just came ahead to put, get the fire going. Good stuff. <laughs> How are you? You must be freezing. I'm, gonna... I'm actually all right. Um, I will be cold soon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, carry out a dress goes hard Yeah. Had some lunch there with everyone. So I've made it to O'Keefe's hut. And I haven't really filmed too much since getting here because when I got here, I ended up meeting a couple of people inside, chatted to them for ages, ended up having a beer with them, then I had some dinner, went and collected some firewood. Anyway, the weather's kind of gotten worse. It's pretty windy out there now and the rain's coming and going. The weather was actually supposed to clear around midday and be sunny tomorrow, so who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring, but at least to be a bit of a test for the new Big Angus tent, so hopefully it goes all right and keeps me dry. Anyway, didn't really feel much. All my camera gear is super wet. I've been trying to dry it. Even the wood's wet, so trying to get the fire cranking to dry some stuff's been a pain, so. I've decided to come to bed early and just get an early night, so I will see you in the morning. See ya. Hello. Well, good morning. So windy last night, I didn't sleep very well, but look. Not a cloud in the sky this morning. All that wind's obviously blown all the clouds away. 
Wow, there's literally not a cloud that I can see from my tent. Just gone for a bit of a walk to take some photos and it looks like that's Mount Jigungle behind the hut over there. Couldn't see that yesterday. I can't get over that there's not even one cloud. That wind was pretty strong last night though, so it doesn't surprise me. So I was just about to tell you how the tent performed in the weather last night and I went to take a photo and I've got an error message coming up on my camera. So I actually bought a second camera, so I swapped the lens over to the other camera and the same thing. So I'm pretty sure I got my lens way too wet yesterday. So I'll show you what's happening, but take a photo, pick that up. I get this error message. I'll take a photo and show you. Anyway, we've got the sunshine today. Hopefully I can dry out this lens and hopefully it'll work again, but I have got a a backup lens. That's nasty. But anyway, apart from that, the tent performed well. It'd be good to have a couple of extra tent pegs so I can put these guide ropes out because there's not enough to do that. So I've tied the tent to the bike. And apart from that, no complaints. Pretty cozy. Anyway, I think it's time for breakfast. Not sure if anyone saw me do this on uh, Instagram, but I saw field days make coffee like this, so I'm gonna give it another try. idea how much to put in. Now I've got some boiling water, although I've let it cool for a little bit because I think if it's too hot it seems to melt through the joint of this paper bag. Everything's so wet. I'm just trying to dry everything out. And this lens, it's, um, yeah, I got it working again, but now it's doing other funny things and just got it sitting in the sun. You can see a bit of fog coming out of it. So I think it's just a bit damp. Hopefully when it does dry out, it'll be good to go again. 
because they're not cheap not cheap at all anyway I'm just slowly packing up I'm in no rush to get out of here and it's just so peaceful now the other two left quite early so I've got the place to myself once I do pack up I'll probably film the intro to this video because I didn't get a chance yesterday it was just too wet yeah awesome spot out here and it's getting very hot I think today is a sun cream day Alright, I am all packed up and I'm ready to go, but I've had a cool idea. I actually bought too many beers with me as usual, and I've got two left over, so I've decided I'm going to leave a note and leave one of the beers here. And I'm hoping that whoever finds it will email me a photo of themselves enjoying it in the hut, and I can add it into this video, so see what happens. Dear whoever finds this beer, I'm out here on a solo bike packing trip and I bought some beers with me. I've had this one left over and rather than carrying it out with me, I thought I'd gift it to the person that finds it. One condition though, I've been filming my whole trip and I've filmed me leaving this beer. I would love for you to take a photo or video and send it to me. If I haven't already edited the video, hopefully you're happy for me to add you to it. Please send images to my email or my Instagram. Cheers, Tim. Enjoy the beer. The original plan was for me to create a bit of a loop, which I was going to go further north than down the farm ridge road back to the car, but I'm not going to do that for two reasons. One, when I came in, there was a sign that said there's only a few tracks that you're allowed to ride bicycles on um, out in this wilderness area, and that's not one of them. So I'm going to go back the way I came, do the right thing. And the other reason is I want to go back to that campsite and uh, see what the view's like where it was all foggy yesterday. So not really going to film too much. Um, camera's playing up, so maybe a bit of GoPro footage. Check out that, and then uh, back to the car. All right, goodbye O'Keefe, you were fun. Look how glorious that is. It's stunning. The greenery, the mountain, so nice. The good old Jigungle hiker bike. Beautiful. About to come into shot, tilt the camera up a little bit. Did not see that at all yesterday, it was way too fogged out. That's so cool. Wow. I've got to get a photo. Somehow I've got to get my camera to work. The camera just does not turn on anymore. So behind me there is Mount Jigungal and I desperately want to get a photo of these lines and I did bring a second camera, as I do, and this one I've actually also bought a vintage prime lens, so it's manual focus and a little bit clunky but I should be able to still get a shot, so let's try that. Hard to manually focus, so I've got to zoom right in, the image, focus. Pull the trigger and hope for the best. Not too shabby. I'll take a few more of them. See what I can come up with. Well, old vintage glass for the win. I'm glad I bought that with me. Well, this looks a little different to yesterday. 
grey mare continues off to the left there, but I'm going back. Very green and lush out here at the moment. Behind me, Mount Jungle. I can't believe I couldn't see any of that yesterday. Good mate, how are you? What are you up to? Yeah, nice. All right, well, enjoy the summit anyway. <laughs> See you, mate. He could be the victim for my free beer. Victim's probably not the right word. But that's all I can think of right now. I hope he likes beer. Well, I'm back at this awesome spot. And look at the view. It's not grey anymore. So nice. I've got my bike back in the same spot and I'm going to try to take a, another photo to compare the two. One from yesterday, one from today. Unfortunately that other lens is not working so it's going to look a little bit different but magic spot. Alright, I've just been talking to those guys I was talking to yesterday and they're actually most of them are here from the Nordic Ski Club that are helping out the caretaker. So they come out here in winter a lot, so that's why they've been helping repaint. And they've actually just left to go climb the summit of Mount Jigungle. So it's lovely to meet you guys if you watch the video, but some of them are going to be coming back and they've left a chair here, so I'm going to have some lunch. And I don't know if you can remember from before, but I said I had two beers left and I left one at the hut. And I got another one for lunch. Life's good. Chanel, if you're watching, Nutella wraps. Delicious. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to stay here for the sunset? Beautiful spot. But, I do have to get back to the car. So, I think I'm just going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to finish some beef jerky, finish my beer, just enjoy this view a little bit longer. And then bail so once I finish these I'll just head over the hill take a photo of Dershko's hut now that it's not covered in fog and head back to the car so thank you very much for watching guys and thanks to all the people out here that I've met this weekend they're probably gonna watch a video so awesome people just makes coming out here feel so much I don't know you're out here alone and it's good, but it's so nice meeting people that are like-minded and have the same sort of interests. So, it's nice. I really do love it out here. And can't wait to be back, so thanks for watching. See you guys. Well, it is about quarter past six, and I finally made it back to the car. And the old mongoose served me well yet again. This beast is 31 years old this year, so it's going good. Anyway, the reason I took so long to get back was, one, I'm just slow, I had way too much weight, but I was playing with that vintage lens and taking a lot of photos. It's so beautiful out there, so I thought I'd actually finish the video now on um, just like a heap of stills, so yeah. Have a look at them. I think they're going to turn out pretty nice for a $30, I don't know, 50-year-old lens. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.